Hey everybody, Brian with Servo City here to talk about servo blocks. Now, we get a lot of questions about servos in general, but especially about servo blocks. So today we thought we'd really show you what a servo block is and what the capabilities are. So first, a servo block is merely an exoskeleton for a standard size or quarter scale servo. And what that does is basically takes the radio load off the servo. But instead of talking more about it, we built a rig to demonstrate. So what we have here is a simple rig and I'm going to hold or attempt to hold a paint can utilizing a regular servo without a servo block. So. As you can see, a regular servo just cannot take the load of a large amount of weight, such as this paint can with an arm on it. It simply snaps the spline directly off the servo. Now we're going to show you what a servo block can do. So now we have another HS45 high-tech servo, but this one is mounted into a servo block. Mounted up here, the arm and everything is identical. So as you can see there, it easily takes the weight not only will it take the weight, but we can actually move it back and forth. Something that the servo without a servo block was not nearly capable of doing. Let's up the ante a little bit and let's mount not only one can, but two cans. And might I add that both of these cans are full. So you can see there it is deflecting a little bit, but we're still able to move it back and forth. So there you can see a servo block takes the radial load off the servo and applies it to the exoskeleton, which allows you to do this. So if you have a project that puts a high load on a servo, be sure to check them out. Mm -hmm.